racing club and racing fans, horse fans in general. I'm Jay Neff, thoroughbred trainer here at Santa Anita in Southern California. This is our California Thoroughbred Racing Club barn at Santa Anita with our beautiful Cutter Neff Racing Stable sign that was made by our friend Dan Barrett. He makes these signs for most of the trainers on the grounds here. He does a fabulous job. And if any of you watching need to have a sign like this made, there's a link down below with the information to contact Dan. In the meantime, our very bad girl here, <laughs> Moroccan Queen. We don't normally use these big gates like this, but this filly, well, the reason we call her Sparky is because she's just hyperactive. And uh, she banged up her foot on the, uh, on the other stall gate. So we, we put this one up, it's gonna be safer for her. But she's doing fine. She's getting some time off. She'll be back to work soon. And uh, it's just a question of keeping her safe in the meantime. So, Cincy and I, as Cutter Neff Racing Stable, recently claimed this filly, Classical Romance, her sire is Classic Empire. Now, a lot of you have questions about what is the claiming race, how do they work? So this filly, she's two years old. She was purchased as a yearling for $100,000. Uh, she went to the races with uh, trainer Steve Asmussen. She has raced four times. She's got one third, two seconds in four starts. So we felt that uh, she might be worth the risk of a claim. It is very risky claiming a horse. You're not allowed to examine that horse before the race. Now you do have some protection. The horses are examined before the race to make sure that they're healthy enough, sound enough, not suffering from an injury that could cause serious uh, breakdown on the track. Uh, you're also protected after the race because if you claim a horse, the veterinarians that work for the uh, state, in this case of Kentucky, they will examine the horse thoroughly. They'll watch the horse for most of an hour after the race. They'll watch how the horse cools out and recovers after the race, and they'll examine the horse for soundness. If that horse doesn't pass the exam, then your claim is void. But there are other issues that would not void the claim. For example, the horse could have behavior problems that could make it very difficult to get a good performance out of the horse on the racetrack. The horse could have some physical issues that over time could be a real problem and would require months off to uh, correct the problem and let the horse recover. Cincy and I claimed this horse from the Steve Asmussen stable. It's one of the top stables in the country. He's won more grade one stakes than anyone else this year so far. And there's no guarantee that Cincy and I will be able to do any better than his outfit did uh, with this horse. But we have such a small stable, we can do whatever we want with this horse. We don't have uh, owners in this case. We don't have the racing club involved and we can assume some risks that normally we wouldn't take. Uh, and we hope that we can find a few things uh, going on with this filly that maybe we can correct that was overlooked by uh, Steve Asmussen's stable. But why do we have claiming races? Since she hadn't won, the Asmussen management decided to drop her down in class from a non-claiming event, like a maiden special weight, where that's for horses that have not raced, uh, that's for horses which have not won. Uh, that's why they call it a maiden race. And that's the highest level of competition for horses that have not won. So they dropped her down into a claiming race where the competition's a little easier. The way that works, and the reason we have claiming races is, Every horse in that race had a price tag, and yours was $30,000. So, if you have a horse that easily 
outclasses the rest of the field and can easily win, you'll get the purse money. But in all likelihood, some trainer's going to claim your horse for that $30,000 price tag. So you may have a $100,000 horse go in there that can easily win, but somebody's gonna take that horse for $30,000. And that's what keeps the playing field level. That keeps that class, that $30,000 claiming class, pretty much equal. And it makes the outcome of the race much more unpredictable because those horses are fairly equal in ability. So we decided to take a chance and claim this filly. Uh, she's gonna race again here at Santa Anita probably next Saturday. We're gonna enter the race if we get in. If the race is used, she'll be running. She ran second on the day that we claimed her at Keeneland Racetrack in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, the reason we went all the way to Kentucky to claim this horse is there's a shortage of horses. So in an effort to get more horses out here to California to help fill our fields, they offer a bonus. They add 30% to the purse money that you win in your first start when you bring a horse from out of state. So it's only good for the first time they run in California. And there's some other little perks as well. But we decided to take a chance with this filly and see if we can get a little bonus money and, uh, and win a race and maybe have a really nice horse along with it. Right there, Hawaii. I see your ears are back. What's the matter? Am I keeping you away from your meal? No, you can eat, you can go eat. You can go eat. So that's what a claiming race is. And uh, just another way of, of making the fields even. So, thanks for watching, and good luck at the races.